Live from Relay for Life of Bakersfield, this is a special edition of 17 News. Good evening, Kern County, and welcome to this very special edition of 17 News, live at Bakersfield's Relay for Life. I'm Alex Fisher. And I'm Mary Kate Pocket. It's been an absolutely gorgeous day yes, out here, has. and it's a beautiful night so far. We're really looking forward to just an incredible journey tonight. Yeah, so. we are not even halfway done. We're approaching the 12-hour mark, and there's still a lot happening, including right now, something yeah. very new. Two very, very special uh, things are happening tonight, and starting right now is a, the very first first time ever in the history of Bakersfield Relay for Life that they're going to be hosting a ceremony honoring the 2019 legacy class of Relay for Life. Yeah, and Aton Wallace is literally just behind us this evening on the main stage where they are just about to get things underway. Let's turn to him right now with the latest. Good evening, Aton. <laughs> Yeah, Alex and Mary Kate, a good evening to you. We're at the north side of the fairgrounds here at the center stage right here where all the big events are taking place for Relay for Life. And as you mentioned, this is the inaugural Legacy Awards taking place right here. The first time in the 28 years of the Bakersfield's Relay for Life that they're doing this ceremony. Now, let me tell you what it is as you take a look at the stage where it's all taking place. Now, just a little bit about this. This year's class of 2019 awardees are being recognized for their instrumental role in Relay for Life over the years. Now, a good way to describe this is kind of like the Relay for Life Hall of Fame. KUZZ radio uh, host Ken McLeod and his wife Crystal, uh, an account executive with KGET. Well, they're some of the organizers of Relay for Life, and it was their idea to have this ceremony to honor the class of 2019. Now, I caught up with Ken about why this ceremony is so special. We haven't recognized the people that have made Relay Relay for 28 years. We've got a lot of dedicated team captains, we've got some dedicated sponsors, dedicated volunteers that all make this happen and that have been here since the very beginning and really make Relay the way it is. So we're going to be recognizing those people, kind of the Relay Hall of Fame. Now, it is important to note that all the awardees, they do not know yet that they're being recognized. This is a surprise, and yes, it is a surprise to us in the media as well. We do not yet know the names of those who are being recognized, but as you can see right behind me, the event is underway. Ken is on stage right now. He is about to make those presentations. We will join you on set, Mary, uh, on set, Mary Kate and Alex, in just about 20 minutes, but for now, and I will, excuse me, I will provide you an update when we have uh, those names names on set live. For now, let me toss it right back to you, right behind me on set. Alex and Mary Kate. Team captains and their teams. Uh, the All right, thank you so much, Aton. It's been a really, really incredible night, but the day started early this morning with the Survivor's Lap, and it was beautiful. The ceremony there is always such a special place. You know, this is the 28th annual Relay for Life, and every year it is just amazing to see so many people, the community of Kern County, come here to the fairgrounds every year to support the survivors. And Karen Wall has a look at today's opening ceremony. Blow, so that must mean one thing. It's just about time to relay. Whether they beat cancer, surgeries and radiation, I survived. Or whether they're still battling it. I'm just hanging in. They took a lap around the fairgrounds to honor those who've passed away and to stand together in solidarity. We're both supporting each other to do this. Libby Caravo came with her doctor, Bruce Rimmer. Well, I was his patient and I had already gone through cancer once and then twice and then Dr. Rimmer was diagnosed. She's already beat cancer once and now she's battling liver cancer. But she was surrounded by a community of other fighters and survivors. It's amazing how everybody here, especially in Bakersfield, they all come together to support one another. It was a day filled with emotions, but also a day to celebrate life. Games and concerts, and new this year, a car show. Every booth showing off their team spirit and rallying to raise money to beat this disease. Most importantly, the day sends a message of hope to those still fighting the good fight. I'd say don't give up. Karen Hua. We got lots more medals up here. 17 News.
17. This marks her. It was such a special ceremony this morning to yeah. see everyone come together for it that. Really Very was. emotional, it's, too. It's always it's such an honor to be able to put those medals on all of the survivors that we have here in Kern County, and they are just incredible warriors. So to be able to see how many we have here in our community and the impact Relay for Life has had on them. Absolutely. And it's hard to believe that was almost 12 hours ago, and we're just about halfway done. So if you are at home and you're wondering what you can do tonight, don't worry. There is still a lot to come tonight. As a matter of fact, the festivities will be continuing through the late night hours into the early morning hours. And we've got following the Legacy Awards that are happening right now, the Luminaria Ceremony will take place at 8.30. And, of course, that is very moving. Yeah, at 17th, Amber Frias will have a live report ahead in our newscast. The Remembrance Laps takes place at 9 o'clock tonight, and the night ends with a pajama lap and a karaoke on the main stage. And tomorrow morning, closing ceremonies take place at 8 o'clock with top teams and individual recognition and, of course, the final lap. You know, it's really neat because as I look around right now, you can see a lot of people playing volleyball. Oh, yeah. and we've got some different activities going on right now. So, again, come on out if you haven't uh, been out here already right now, and it is just an absolutely gorgeous evening. It's beautiful. It it's is beautiful right now. The weather could not be more perfect. Yeah, and in fact, we have so much more left in this special edition of this newscast, including a weather forecast from our own Kevin Shred out here live. Yeah, he's going to be joining us in just a few moments. All right. Sonic's new Red Bull slushes. We took a crowd favorite and combined it with another crowd favorite. It's sure to be a crowd favorite. Rush in for Sonic's new Red Bull slushes, half price during happy hour. Unused quality RVs are expensive to keep around. There's bank loans, insurance, DMV fees, storage fees, and ongoing maintenance costs. Barry's RV can bring all this to an end. We will give you a check on the spot. We'll take care of the paperwork. So stop by Highway 99 and 7th Standard Road and see for yourself how Barry's RV can end the drain on your checkbook and turn your RV into instant cash today. Barry's RV, treating others the way they want to be treated. Roscoe and Sarah here for Guarantee Shoe Center. Today, more spring shoes. Chassa, a new brand, vibrant leathers, handmade in Israel. Revere, all styles come with strap extenders, perfect for wide feet. Spring Step, laser cut uppers, enhance true European comfort. SAS, cute, casual, and comfy. Triple treats for your feet. SAS, made in the USA, and most styles come in sizes 4 to 12. Guarantee Shoe Center, 21st in Chester downtown. Where else? From fixing a broken sprinkler to designing and remodeling your entire yard, Kern Custom Landscape is committed to providing excellent workmanship and craftsmanship to make our clients' dreams a reality. Kern Custom Landscape is dedicated to the hardworking people of Kern County with over 25 years of experience providing the best quality at the best value. Call us today to schedule your free estimate, 661-496-6952, or visit us at kerncustomlandscape.com. Bacon, Swiss cheese, juicy chicken on a King's Hawaiian bun. Oh, what else is it saying? Oh, it's saying, oh, it's saying you still owe me that 30 bucks. Hang up! Hurry into Sonic for the King's Hawaiian Chicken or Burger Club and try order ahead to get happy hour anytime. Welcome back to this special edition of 17 News, live at Bakersfield Relay for Knife. Uh, Kevin is joining us. Uh, you have had quite the busy day today. It's been uh, a long day. You know, a lot of people know my organization, Thumbs Up Cancer Down. So we've been out here with all the other teams. And, in fact, it was real nice to hear Jim Scott was just uh, put into the uh, Legacy Awards. And, and, uh, Robin, just moments ago. Just moments ago. Yeah. They've been at Relay for years and years. And so he just uh, basically uh, took the award in honor of his father. So that was so nice yeah, to hear. I remember Kevin stole my mic here. But um, I remember coming out here as a little kid, and it was Jim and Robin up on that stage yeah. every single year. And so it's just, he just, it's well-deserved. He's Absolutely. done so much for this. Yeah, and I'll tell you, the weather couldn't have been more beautiful today. There was a light breeze. It wasn't too hot. Nobody was complaining. Uh, so overall, I think uh, I'm, in the, yeah, I'm in the A-plus category with everybody that came out to relay. So everyone's okay with Kevin Charette. I think so. And uh, tomorrow, it's looking even better. So oh, if you have wonderful. Sunday plans, you're probably going to be relaxing if you've been at relay all day. Uh, the weather is looking great. Now, right now, 
uh, we're at 79 degrees, so it's cooled down quite a bit from what we were seeing earlier today when we were into those 80s. So it's a nice night out here. We have a light wind out of the north. As we take a look at the satellite radar, not much to show you tonight. You can see the clear skies. But one thing to note here, and we've been talking about it for the last several days, is a cutoff low that developed uh, er, mid last week just to the west. And you can see the rotation there. It is starting to make uh, a move, and it's going to arrive into our area as we head into tomorrow in the early part of the week. And you can see it there. So it's going to break down that ridge of high pressure. We're still looking at a very slight chance of maybe a shower, but I don't think it's going to be a much. And then we'll have another system by right around Thursday of next week that'll move on in. Now, take a look at the forecast for Sunday. 74 in Sacramento, 80 in Fresno, 60s in Los Angeles, San Diego, but still quite warm as that ridge has pushed to the east into the Vegas area uh, with a high of 90. And Phoenix will be at 96, so they're looking hot tomorrow. As we take a look at the air quality, it will be good tomorrow with an AQI at 50. And as we take a look at the overall forecast, we will look for a slight chance of a shower, maybe even a thunderstorm developing. 74 in Bakersfield, 77 in Delano with a tap to 74, so a big cool down. As we take a look at the uh, mountains, a uh, slight chance of a shower, a thunderstorm, 59 in Fraser Park, 62 in Tehachapi with 60s into the Kern River Valley, and then for the desert. We'll also be looking at uh, sunny skies like we had today. I don't think much of that activity will make its way to the desert in a high of 73 in Mojave. Here's your extended forecast. It'll linger into uh, Thursday morning. Again, when this arrives, it won't arrive until probably tomorrow night into Monday morning. And then uh, Thursday, we have another slight chance. And you can see those temperatures will be uh, into the 70s, back into the uh, closer to 80 degree mark Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for the mountains. Uh, also, a slight chance of a shower coming in late tomorrow into Monday, maybe lingering into Tuesday. Another shot Thursday, Friday, Saturday for the mountains, so a better shot there. 50s and 60s. And then for the uh, Kern River Valley, same situation. You get a big cool down by Monday with uh, lower 60s, but then back into the 70s as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. So kind of a swing in the weather pattern, but you couldn't have asked for a better day here at Relay for Life. I know some people were hoping for that cool down. Yeah. Switching Sunday was Saturday, but I'll tell you, overall, it was a great day out here. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's, it's sorry, it's, a, it's an absolutely gorgeous night out here, and we're expecting possible some, some rain later on tomorrow, so after Relay, so it just couldn't have worked out better. Yeah, me and Mary Kate teamed up on the forecast today from the station to here, so team effort. All right, well, we still have a lot to come, of course, on this special edition of 17 News Live at Relay for Live. So stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming your way after the break. Sky River RV, we don't claim to have the lowest prices. And we don't advertise the sale of repossessions or distressed stock. And we don't have fake sales and RV shows. What we do have are knowledgeable salespeople who are non-intrusive. Our goal is to help you find the perfect RV from our lineup of quality brands. And you will get a very fair price. Come experience the Sky River RV difference for yourself. You'll be glad you did. Here you go, little guy. A cockroach can survive submerged underwater for 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Not getting in today. Not on my watch. Pests never stop trying to get in. At Terminix, we never stop working to keep them out. That's what makes us America's leading pest and termite control provider. Because we do whatever it takes to stop them in their tracks. For a free pest estimate, call 1-800-TERMINIX. Take action to protect your home today. And if pests ever do come back, so will we. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. For a free pest estimate, call 1-800-TERMINIX or visit Terminix.com. Terminix, defenders of home. Important conversation, open discussion about difficult topics. Kern County In-Depth with Jim Scott, Saturdays at 6, 17 News. Continental Labor and Staffing Resources is committed to developing Kern County's workforce of tomorrow. Continental Labor has been serving this community since 1993. We provide high-quality employees to all industries. Our safety team works around the clock to ensure our employees are working safely, following protocols, and always equipped with the right PPE for any job. We're always recruiting for roustabouts, various equipment operators, general labor, forklift drivers, and even some office positions. Trust Continental Labor, a culture committed to safety and providing you and our partners the highest quality work experience. Go online or call us today.
Welcome back to this special edition of 17 News Live at Relay for Live. We wanted to show you just a, a special group that is here with us tonight. They were here early this morning, of course. We got a group from BMAT Elementary School. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, you guys were here early today, right? Tell us, this is Caden here. Tell us how much money your group has raised. Uh, about $13,000. That is absolutely fantastic. For an elementary school to work so hard, uh, the entire school gets involved, $13,000. And they're not the only school uh, here in Kern County that works really hard. And uh, Sandy Brown, we were going to have her on her show, but I had to actually push her to the stage um, because she just got the Legacy Award. Yeah. Sandy Brown is with Stella Hills Elementary, and she is one of the top fundraisers every year. She's got the largest tent out here. Her and her husband work tirelessly to put together these massive uh, raffle baskets. They're massive. Mm -hmm. And her and her husband do it pretty much on their own every single year. So she just got the Legacy Award. Stella Hills, Sandy Brown, you guys rock. Well deserved, absolutely. Yes. I love I love seeing these elementary schools get really involved in this because it's such a big thing in our community. So to teach them so, so young and you know, I'm, I love BMAT. I'm a proud BMAT alum. My dad also works there and so does my sister. So it's really awesome to be a little bit a part of something like that. And I think real quick with the money, Stella Hills, I think they raised over $30,000. That's incredible. That's an incredible. And of course, all of that going to the American American Cancer Society. You know, there's been a lot of new things here at Relay for Life this year. It's been really neat to kind of walk around and see some of the new additions, including a car show. So we want to talk about this year's Relay for Life uh, car show that was here earlier this morning. A car show that packed the fairground classic cars lined the inside of the track. And matter of fact, where we are set up right now is where they were earlier today. And along with the cars, booths along are also lined the track, which wrapped around the whole venue this year. It's a very large area. Yeah, and also new this year, a grand entrance. Check out this replica of the Bakersfield sign. It was made by the Carpenters Union. The sign greeted guests as they entered the fairgrounds, and what a more perfect way. Now have no fear, Bakersfield is here, and we got that sign up to show them all. Just a good reminder reminder of the, all the amazing work that is happening here at Relay for Life. Right. And of course, everyone around the nation who deals with Relay for Life knows about Bakersfield because of people like BMAT and the other groups, of course, that are relaying here today. Right. And we have so much more coming up. We're going to check in with Aton Wallace and see about all of those award winners tonight for the Legacy of the 2019. First time ever that we've that they've done this Legacy class. And so kind of the inaugural, really special event ahead of another special event with the Luminaria, which Amber Frias will be joining us. So so all of that is coming up after the break. Stay with us. Show your teacher a little appreciation. Beginning Monday, May 6th, 17 News at Sunrise will be sharing your pics and videos. Send us your photos and clips thanking your teachers. You just might see your images on air. Show your teacher how much you care. Show your teacher a little appreciation. Beginning Monday, May 6th, celebrating our local educators on 17 News at Sunrise. Sad wings. Oh. Happy Wings. Hungry? Try our family meal deal. 33 Happy Wings, two happy sides, three medium drinks, and happy veggies for only $39.95. Happy Wings. Have you noticed that banking is this big corporate thing? To these mega banks, they're just an account number. And no one seems to even notice you're so wrapped up in other things? Well, snap out of it! There's a movement to take back control, to take back financial freedom, to take back banking. Kasasa is checking that rewards you for doing everyday things that you're already doing anyway. So join the movement. Take back banking with Kasasa. Switch to Kasasa checking at Strata Credit Union. Do you have a weather picture you'd like to share? Send it to snapshots at KGET.com. Watch 17 News at 5 and log on to KGET.com to see all the wonderful photos. Weather Snapshots is sponsored by Earners, celebrating 100 years serving Bakersfield. Each dollar you spend at a local independent business returns 50 times more money to the local economy than buying from an online mega retailer. Get local. Spending local matters. For more information, visit KGET.com slash get local. Sad wings. Oh. 
Happy Wings. Crispy, crunchy, and savory. That's the Happy Wings way. Come in for our 20 Happy Wings, one Happy Side, and Happy Veggies for only $19.95. Happy Wings. This portion of 17 News is brought to you by Primetime Barbecue. Good food, good friends, good times. At Manji Landscape, it all starts with a mission. Since 1953, our commitment has been designing, building, and caring for beautiful environments. Our clients love the fact that no matter how complex their project is, they can rely on just one company to bring it to life. Let our team of professionals help you discover the endless possibilities of waiting outdoors. Manji Landscape, redefining outdoor living since 1953. Welcome back. We're out here live at the 28th Annual Relay for Life at the Kern County Fairgrounds. This year they did something a little bit special. They, they, they did the uh, first annual Legacy Awards, the 2019 class. And it's the first time they've ever done this, honoring those that have been a part of Relay from really the beginning and have just made such an impact in this. Yeah. And they actually just wrapped up those awards. Yeah, they are truly responsible, of course, for the success of Relay for Life right. here in Bakersfield. And Aton Wallace is joining us once again to talk about some of those volunteers that were on honored later or earlier this evening. Let's go to him live now. All righty, hey, the, the ceremony just wrapped up as you're taking a look right here. This is Aton Wallace from the north side of the fairgrounds. I want to take you a little bit. We just found out who won. It was a touching ceremony. And let me read you the names. We have a graphic that I want to put on screen about who won. So here they are, the volunteers, Robin Enos and Sylvia Carricker. We also have Ron Holbert, the team captains, Beth Cheatwood of Racing for a Cure, Kathy Best, Scotty Miller, Bob Miller and Friends, Marsha Weimar, U.S. Postal Service, Sandy Brown, Stella Hills, Basket Cases, The Corporate Era, KGET, and the Community Award went to The Majestics, and yes, Robin Mangaran Scott and current KGET uh, managing editor and anchorman Jim Scott. Now, let me uh, go live here. I want to take you to some of our uh, awardees uh, quickly as we don't have a, a lot of time here. Uh, a few of our awardees here. You see here all the awards, uh, and uh, I want to take you to, to, to some of them right here. Hey, uh, anybody uh, who just won, we're live on KGET. We're live on KGET. I know you just won. Hello, hi, how are you? Good. And you are? Robin Enos. Robin. Congratulations. Tell me, this is the award. How did it go tonight? It was really nice. Mm -hmm. And you've raised a number, a lot of uh, money for cancer. Yeah, what is your I, story with that? Actually, I do. Um, I cut and style all the wigs for all the cancer patients and been teaching Look Good, Feel Better for 30 years. So I uh, teach classes on cancer patients on how to deal with the side effects from chemotherapy and radiation. Beautiful, Robin. And tell me, what does it feel to get this award? It's a great honor. I appreciate it. And, and we appreciate... I'm sorry? I feel very overwhelmed with it. Beautiful. And we appreciate all you do for the community and what you do for cancer patients and survivors all over. It's very important work, so thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Alex and Mary-Kate, there you go. Beautiful. Very well-deserved awards for all these people here, including Robin. Let's send it back to you at the set. All right. Thank you so much, Aton. All right, we'll be back with more on this special edition of 17 News. These Red Bull slushes are invigorating, right? I know it, man. I'm feeling confident, feeling pumped. I want to jump this thing. I don't know if that's such a good idea, TJ. No, man, I need help. Can we jump this thing? Oh, yeah, of course. Rush in for Sonic's new Red Bull slushes. Half price during happy hour. Re-inspired. Reclaimed. Refurbished. Rejuvenated. Repurposed. You'll find everything vintage and industrial chic at the Three Speckled Hens Antique and Old Stuff Show, May 4th and 5th at the Paso Robles Event Center. Come find something special for you. 
Continental Labor and Staffing Resources is committed to developing Kern County's workforce of tomorrow. Continental Labor has been serving this community since 1993. We provide high quality employees to all industries. Our safety team works around the clock to ensure our employees are working safely, following protocols, and always equipped with the right PPE for any job. We're always recruiting for roustabouts, various equipment operators, general labor, forklift drivers, and even some office positions. Trust Continental Labor, a culture committed to safety and providing you and our partners the highest quality work experience. Go online or call us today. Sunday brunch is an opportunity for large families to come over and enjoy great food together. We want our guests to feel like family when they arrive. We serve all traditional favorites, including our seafood. Try our homemade coffee. It's delicious. Bring your family and come experience what a family-owned Mexican food restaurant is all about. Bacon, Swiss cheese, juicy chicken on a King's Hawaiian bun. Oh, what else is it saying? Oh, it's saying, oh, it's saying you still owe me that 30 bucks. Hang up! Hurry into Sonic for the King's Hawaiian Chicken or Burger Club and try Order Ahead to get happy hour anytime. Welcome back to this special edition of 17 News, live at Relay for Life. One of the most emotional parts of this evening and this day, of course, is the Luminaria ceremony that is set to take place in just a few minutes. Right, and 17's Amber Frias is live at the Survivor's Tent tonight to give us a little bit of a preview about what this event really is and how special it really is to Relay for Life. Amber? Good evening, Amber. We are just minutes away from the Luminaria ceremony, and let me tell you, these Luminaria bags are set up all over the fairgrounds. Organizers tell me there's about 5,000 of them. And I am joined by Jennifer Hardin, who is Luminaria lead, but also a cancer survivor. Yes, I am. A thyroid so, cancer. <laughs> talk a little bit about that, what this ceremony means, particularly to you. Um, this ceremony means a lot to me because um, I'm a survivor of cancer. My mother's a survivor of cancer. And each bag that's out here lit, sorry, um, means that someone's thought about, someone has passed, or someone is fighting, or someone has beat cancer. And so when you see the pictures on the bags and you see the names and you realize there's someone that belongs to somebody in some family. And so it, and you see the person, it, it really gets to me um, emotionally um, as I walk through. Uh, um, just thinking about it brings, you know, kind of tears and sorry about that. But um, that's part of, that's part of uh, what it is. We need to beat cancer and we need to find a cure. And that's why, that's why we relay. That's why uh, we raise money so that uh, we can eradicate cancer. So let's talk a little bit about the ceremony and what takes place during the ceremony. During the ceremony, we have a speaker. All the lights um, go out um, through the fairgrounds um, that's around the, the, the immediate area. And the only thing that's glowing is the bags. And we have a speaker and they tell their story, um, how they're either fighting cancer, they fought cancer. Um, it's different every year. We have a different speaker. And then, <clears throat> Then we um, have a moment of silence. And then as the all the music goes off, there's no sound. And people just walk around looking at bags. And that's what takes place during the ceremony. That sounds really nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, guys, we are just a few minutes away. So for now, let's toss it back to Mary-Kate and Alex. All right, thank you so much, Amber. You know, this is such a uh, an emotional ceremony for so many people, including me. I lost my uh, grandmother to cancer several years ago, and I know that her name is uh, uh, her name is around here somewhere. So I have to go and find it. Um, you know, and it's just it is another reminder of how many people that we've lost here in Kern County. But most importantly, it's it's carrying on their legacy right. for all of those survivors too, who who are still fighting the good fight. Yeah, and it just shows the community of Bakersfield and just how giving and how yeah. we do rally and we do come together and we. 
we relay. You we know, do. we are we out here every single year. We're the fifth largest in the nation. I mean, it just shows you what what Bakersfield is. You know, it's all about community and it's all about giving back and supporting one another through the hardest of times. And that's that's out here. You know, everyone always talks about how you do not have to have cancer to be affected by cancer, right. and you're kind of reminded about that when you come here because uh, again, you know, my mother had a, a cancer, and uh, you know, that was a difficult time as well. And and you see a lot of people, a lot of our friends who have been in similar situations. And but when you come here, you do remember, but you also are, right. are, are re-energized to fight, of course, to find a cure for cancer. Right. And of course, we'll have a full wrap of all of the events from tonight, and then just from Relay all together yep. tonight on 17 News at 11. So we'll see you in just a couple of hours for all things Relay. For all of us at 17 News, thank you so much for watching and have a pleasant evening. Good night. Thank you for watching this special edition of 17 News, Relay for Life of Bakersfield, benefiting the local chapter of the American Cancer Society. Begin making plans now to be a part of next year's incredible life-changing event. On behalf of everyone involved, for your support, your compassion, and your donations, thank you, Kern County.